Maury Island Incident, 1947. The Maury Island Incident refers to claims made by Fred Chrisman and Harold Dahl of falling debris, and threats by men in black following sightings of unidentified flying objects in the sky, over Maury Island in Puget Sound in June 1947. Dahl later retracted his claims, stating the story was a hoax. Chrisman and Dahl said they were harbor patrolmen on a workboat who saw six donut-shaped objects in the sky near Maury Island. According to Chrisman and Dahl, one of the objects dropped a substance that resembled lava or white metal onto their boat, breaking a worker's arm and killing a dog. Dahl claimed he was later approached by a man in a dark suit and told not to talk about the incident. The story was later retold in Gray Barker's book They Knew Too Much About Flying Saucers which helped to popularize the image of men in black in mainstream culture. The substance claimed to have been dropped by the objects was found to be slag from a local smelter. Years later, Dahl confessed to a reporter that the incident was a hoax. Aurora, Texas Crash, 1897 during the 1896 to 1897 time frame, numerous sightings of a cigar-shaped mystery airship were reported across the United States. One of these accounts appeared in the April 19, 1897, edition of the Dallas Morning News. Written by her or a resident S. E. Hayden, the alleged UFO is said to have hit a windmill on the property of a Judge J. S. Proctor two days earlier at around 6 a.m. local, central, time, resulting in its crash. The pilot did not survive the crash, and was buried with Christian rites at the nearby Aurora Cemetery. Reportedly, wreckage from the crash site was dumped into a nearby well located under the damaged windmill, while some ended up with the alien in the grave. Adding to the mystery was the story of Mr. Brawley Oates, who purchased Judge Proctor's property around 1945. Oates cleaned out the debris from the well in order to use it as a water source, but later developed an extremely severe case of arthritis, which he claimed to be the result of contaminated water from the wreckage dumped into the well. As a result, Oates sealed up the well with a concrete slab and placed an outbuilding atop the slab. Mantell Case, 1948 The Mantell UFO incident was among the most publicized early UFO reports. The incident resulted in the crash and death of 25-year-old Kentucky Air National Guard pilot, Captain Thomas F. Mantell, on January 7, 1948 while in pursuit of a UFO. Historian David Michael Jacobs argues the Mantell case marked a sharp shift in both public and governmental perceptions of UFOs. Previously, the news media often treated UFO reports with a whimsical or glib attitude reserved for silly season news. Following Mantell's death, however, Jacobs notes the fact that a person had died in an encounter with an alleged flying saucer dramatically increased public concern about the phenomenon. Now a dramatic new prospect entered thought about UFOs. They might be not only extraterrestrial but potentially hostile as well. However, later investigation by the U.S. Air Force's Project Blue Book indicated that Mantell died chasing a skyhook balloon, which in 1948 was a top secret project that Mantell would not have known about. Incident at Exeter, 1965 The Exeter incident was a highly publicized UFO sighting that occurred on September 3, 1965 approximately five miles from Exeter, New Hampshire, in the neighboring community of Kensington. Although several separate sightings had been made by numerous witnesses in the weeks leading up to September 3, the specific incident, eventually to become by far the most famous, involved a local teenager and two police officers. The Exeter incident remains listed as unexplained by the United States Air Force. The November-December 2011 edition of Skeptical Inquirer presents an explanation of the incident, 
based on details reported by the eyewitnesses. Pascagoula, Mississippi Case, 1973 the Pascagoula abduction occurred in 1973 when co-workers Charles Hickson and Calvin Parker claimed that they were abducted by aliens while fishing near Pascagoula, Mississippi. The case earned substantial mass media attention, and is, along with the earlier Hill abduction, among the best-known claims of alien abduction. On the evening of October 11, 1973, Co-workers 42-year-old Charles Hickson and 19-year-old Calvin Parker told the Jackson County, Mississippi Sheriff's Office they were fishing off a pier on the west bank of the Pascagoula River in Mississippi. When they heard a whirring, whizzing sound, saw two flashing blue lights and an oval-shaped object 30-40 feet across and 8-10 feet high. Parker and Hickson claimed that they were conscious but paralyzed while three creatures took them aboard the object and subjected them to an examination before releasing them.